Hello and welcome to 5J Gaming. I'm 5J and today I'm going to play some more Mega Man 11. There's a bunch of folks in the chat already. Let's take a look who we got here. We got Melee Man 14, 5J Fan slash Blue Shep. What's up? Uh, the T Poser, uh, Simon, uh, Car Games Against Predacons, Luke W. And see if there's anybody on Twitch. An auto mod is going crazy. What's going on, auto mode? Auto mod? Calm down, pal. Weird. Oh, and I got somebody on Facebook here. Let's take a look see. Jesse's here on Facebook. What's up, Jesse? Welcome, dude. Did you play uh, Mega Man 11? Okay, I'm gonna get this game booted up here. I've done, what, half of these bosses? Okay. Have to go, then. Open up my Facebook page, make sure I got the, uh, the live stream going here. It says, beat it the other day. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, uh, I forget where my, um... Where I was in these, uh, oh, I guess I only beat three of these bosses. Where I was in the order of things here. Bounce Man, Fuse Man, and Block Man. Fuse Man, I was thinking, is probably strong against Tundra Man, and I think somebody confirmed that was the case. So I'm going to go ahead and check out Tundra Man. There is an absolute boatload of chats. A lot of people are asking about being excited about Smash. Absolutely. I have the uh, special edition pre-ordered from Amazon. It's going to come with that um, really cool Steelbook case. I'm a sucker for games that come in Steelbook cases, especially Nintendo games. Because they uh, they didn't used to do that sort of thing. Of course, nowadays, metal cases are not as common as they used to be anyway. So, anytime there's a metal case now, it's a big deal. So, that's cool. Um... But, uh, and it comes with the, the Smash Bros. Pro Controller. I'm, I'm a little nervous, though, because I'm ordering it off, off of Amazon, and Amazon has been really bad about putting out games on release day. So we'll see if it actually gets here on release day. I'm not so sure that it will, honestly. So we'll see if I actually get the game on Friday. I really want it to be here, but you never really know. Post says Mega Man 11 is a quality game. It is, thank goodness. Because uh, it means they care about Mega Man, at least on some level. Even if it's only a smaller game for Capcom, it doesn't matter. You know, as long as it's high quality, it can be this sort of game forever. Of course, I want more Mega Man X personally, but I'm cool with classic Mega Man style. Oh, yeah, I gotta be careful about the wind blowing. I'm gonna wind up in trouble otherwise. He tricked me. I thought he was going to get me earlier. Actually playing with um, a Joy-Con grip right now because... Woo! Because my, uh, my current Pro Controller has a problem with the D-pad where it, it messes up the inputs for left and right. Uh, and hits up and down instead. So... Oops. I didn't want to mess with that business. So I'm using a Joy-Con grip with those split buttons. That way there's no way I'm going to accidentally hit the button without it being 100% my own fault. Ah, playing this part like a doofus. Wow, this is the worst I've ever done in this part. Really? Sad. This guy is nice because you can just shoot him in the feet. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, what a fail. Eh, whatever. Rush has got my back. Oh, and I've got his. Let's move his energy back. Oh, all of it. Um, Lucas plays Wave 3 of Star Allies. Nice. The DLC. How do you like that DLC? JE says, Hi, 5J. How do you feel about Netflix canceling Daredevil because Disney decided to go to war with them with... Disney Plus. Yeah, that's sad because I really like Daredevil on Netflix. That was my favorite one. I was hoping that one was safe, but 
Sadly, it is not. Layla, Daisy, and Lauren are doing well. Thanks, Melee Man. T Poster says, Are you going to buy Monster Boy in the Cursed Kingdom? Yes, I am, because I loved Monster Boy in, um, what is it, in Wonderland? Dragonland? I forget. Wonder Boy in Monsterland, I think it was called. Um, those games are updated versions of old Sega Master System RPGs, classics. And uh, I love Sega Master System, I think it's an amazing system. And uh, I will play any game that I can get for that. And of course these remasters, these are just incredible. The, the respect they have for the source material, but then also the incredible new uh, art and, and music they add to it. Just really, really great. Oh yeah, this guy. I don't like this guy. This guy's not easy. To hit him in his little landing craft. Slow down, slow down. Get him, get him, get him. Okay. Best we could do. Get on there, and those come down. We know the drill. Ah! I thought he gave me bit a better warning than that. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. There we go. Okay. He wasn't so bad. I guess I've played this level a few times uh, without actually beating it, so I have a little bit of practice in on this one. Oh my goodness, there are so many chats right now. Alright, I'm going to take a second here and just read some more. Uh, Blue Shep says, nope, don't do that, man. t Post says, well, at least you did not pre-order it from GameStop. No, pre-ordering from GameStop is great. I've never had a problem pre-ordering from GameStop, ever. I've always got it launch day. Um, so I wish that I had pre-ordered it from GameStop, but it was out of stock. So I couldn't. But it came back in stock on Amazon, so it was the only, only way I could get my hands on that um, special edition version. Simon says, Jay, you need to play or on stream the Zero and ZX games. Yes, I do. I have the uh, Mega Man Zero collection on uh, DS, so I could definitely play those games for sure on stream. I don't have the ZX games, though, so one day I'll have to get them because I really love that style of Mega Man game. Uh, Blue Shep says, if you like horror, play Five Nights at Freddy's. Yes, I think everyone is aware of Five Nights at Freddy's because it is very popular. Parker Johnson's back. What's up, Parker? Luke says, good, I got the old Kirby Styles. I'm using it forever. Oh, nice. Old, what do you mean old Kirby Styles? Like the Game Boy style? Or the NES style in uh, Star Allies? Uh, Man the Man says, Jay, do you like foods with cheese in it? Yeah, or just straight cheese. Last night I just had some nice cheese. Uh, was over at my brother's place. Just hanging out, having a great time. And we had some fancy cheese. It's good stuff. Go. These tricky little birds. What are they? Swans? Sort of ice swan. Oh, well, I wasn't looking. These little snowflakes started falling. T Poser says, 5J fan. Five Nights at Freddy's has a cringy and horrible fan base. Ah, much like, uh. Much like the fan base for, um. Undertale, that's the one. Luke says, they made an old Kirby costume for the game and you can switch it out with a modern one. It looks like the NES art. Okay. Nice. So the NES game was the second or third Kirby game. Kirby started on Game Boy. And then, I can't remember if the NES game was next. Ah! Because Kirby was originally a, um, a white character. Like, he wasn't pink. You look at the uh, the cover on uh, the original Kirby game on Game Boy, and he is stark white. He is not pink in the slightest. But of course, in the Game Boy, it didn't matter, right? There was no color, so he didn't have to be pink. And then on the NES, they added a different hue to him. 
gotcha. I like now that your charge shot will shock people out of blocking. I think it's a really cool um, feature because really your charge shot is supposed to be so strong. Why wouldn't it be able to do that? Okay, okay. Yes, I was really worried about slipping down into those spikes. Simon's of Swans, great experimental rock band. <laughs> nice. Um, T Poster says, Did you guys hear about free Walmart Fortnite code? Free Walmart Fortnite code. No. Boy, that little bot is going crazy because I'm not at his level. If I do the same for this one on the lower level, he'll go nuts too. Woo! Slow down a little so he doesn't come at me so fast. Should take it. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have stopped my super speed at that moment. There we go. Oh boy. Not more of these guys. Ooh, two for one. That was a good shot. There we go. So far, oh. Respawn. So far I haven't died yet, so that's great. Here he comes. There we go. We're doing awesome. We gotta be really close to the boss at this point. We just have to be, don't we? How could we not be? Ho 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 ho! Almost my de- BEAT! Beat you the man! Clearly not gonna get that extra life. It's okay. We made it to the boss! Whew. Get beat, guys. It'll save you from the, the depths there once. Awesome. Beat, by the way, if you didn't already surmise. The name of your little blue bird friend that saves you from the uh, falling into a hole once. Looks as the old Kirby costume for allies has his modern colors. It's based on the NES. Cool, cool. Um, Melee Man still wishes he had a GameCube and many of its games. I hear ya. I have a GameCube and I have some games, but I don't have a lot of uh, other ones. Like, I don't think I have Sunshine. Um, okay, I got a boss fight now to think about. He's... Oh, that's interesting. Boom! There! Get away from that! Yeah! Go into power mode and that dude just got destroyed. Yes! That's the way to do it. Blue Shep says, I have like 999 GameCube games. Wow, that would be crazy if you had that many. I've got maybe 12. It's not many. I think I have Melee and I think I have Star Fox Assault. Um, I have to check again. I think I did get around to grabbing um, the original uh, Animal Crossing on there. Ooh. It makes a big old storm cool, and then you go into super weapon mode, and BAM! The whole screen is just destroyed. Awesome. That's a good weapon right there. It gets a screen wipe for you. Oh, I was about to read another chat, but we got a little cutscene here. The double gear system. It was so very long ago. It was on that day Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. We were students then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Each of us was passionate about forging the way ahead. To a future where humans and robots might live together in harmony. 
I like young Dr. Light. Looks just like him. They could be true partners to humankind at last. Naive as always. Even robots that think Same for young Wily. More than so good. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable speed. It's only when we build robots with the power to outdo humans that people will truly accept robots for what they are. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. Honestly, his plan doesn't sound too bad. However, <laughs> I was strongly opposed to Wiley's ideas and research. The double gear system, it puts an incredible strain on the robots that use it. Oh no, like Mega Man. If it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At He's not time, wrong. A committee was convened, and Wiley's research was cancelled. In favor of my independent thought. <laughs> Roll and Otto were watching, and then they had to hide when Dr. Light turned around. His views have grown ever more extreme since then. Ah, see, there they are again. That my efforts to quench Wiley's hot headedness before it led him astray only ended up fueling the fire. I like Dr. Light, but it might be because he reminds me of Santa Claus. <laughs> right? Instead it's got that bowl full of jelly and the big white beard. Maybe we'd still be friends. This is how I picture Santa's hairstyle. To work together. Even the Put a red coat and a red hat on him. Could be a tool for good if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make any robot into a hero could become reality if used by you. I'm trusting you, Mega Man. You can count on me, oh, Prof. I almost forgot something very important. I've just finished giving Rush a good tune-up. <gasps> He's all ready to head out with you. What is it? What is it? Rush! Do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, look at his little robot tail and his little robot tongue and his little ears are going. Oh, buddy. Oh, he's so cute. I had a Rush action figure. And Mega Man could stand on top of him. I do. Yes, the Rush Jet. Yes, please and thank you. Okay, Rush Jet is A. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Go, buddy, go. Oh, he can face left. Good. Can I make him more powerful if I use this? No. That's kind of funny. I'd try it. Sweet. I love any time they use Rush to, like, make Mega Man stronger or better. So, that was awesome. Mega Man 6 is great for that because there are three different... Um, suits where Rush combines with Mega Man and and then he gets one where he's like got really powerful punches and he can break through these blocks using like this jet fist from Mega Man or uh, from Rush and he's got one suit where it's an actual jet suit so he can like fly up in the sky and not just like the standard jet that's and it only goes like laterally and then vertically it's very slow now it's like a really high jet jump and it's awesome uh, I forgot what the third suit was, though. That was my two favorite ones. I forgot what the third one is. Okay, uh, lots of chats here. T Poser says, Five J when Smash comes out, you should do online with viewer streams so we can fight against each other. Absolutely. Hey, Mari is here. What's up, Mari? He says, Lol, I'm at work. Hi, no volume for me, but wave if you see my message. Hi, Mari. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Simon says, good horror games are Eternal Darkness, Fatal Frame, and Silent Hill. I think I have one Silent Hill game. The one on Wii. The Silent Memories one. Where you had, like, a flashlight to use. I really don't remember it, though. Um, Blue Shep says, I have Mega Man Anniversary for my GameCube and the controls are crap. Are they? I don't remember them being crap. Mari's on her lunch break. Awesome. Uh, let's see... 
time since my first true horror game was Shadow Man on N64. I don't think I know that one. Android 17 is also here at work. Wow, thanks for coming in on work, guys. Hey. <laughs> Android says my first horror game was a Teletubbies game for PlayStation. Well, I love it. Parker thinks that YouTube is the best horror game. Wah, wah. Luke's taking off. See you, Luke. Uh, J.E. says, is Mega Man X and Mega Man from the same timeline? Um, supposedly, Mega Man X is from, like, 100 years later. So, it's the same timeline, though. But they do not exist at the same time. If that makes sense. X is actually not Mega Man. I don't know why they called him X and not Mega Man X or something. The game is called Mega Man X, but technically... The character is just called X. His name isn't Mega Man at all. Which is strange. So I'm not sure how that works, but whatever. Seven says Silent Hill on Wii is good. Oh, is it? Oh, cool. Then I will definitely check that out. Mario says, ooh, Shadow Man was so good. Oh, Mari must have that sound going now. Awesome. Okay. Um, Ice. Who's going to be weak against Ice? Probably not Impact Man. I imagine he would shatter the ice. Torch Man, maybe. Fire often melts ice, but Fuse Man was the weakness for ice this time. So we might see Tundra Man with that, like, big gust putting out the fire. So that's a, a key contender for me. Acid Man, maybe the ice would neutralize the acid. Blast Man, I feel like he would explode ice. So I'm thinking it's either Acid Man or Torch Man, and I think I'm probably going to go for Torch Man. And we'll see if that's the right pick. Parker says, yes, I get scared half to death when YouTubers scream. They do that too much, man, and it's all just fake. <laughs> well, for a Torchman level, I didn't expect this, like, keep creepy campground aesthetic. Interesting. The moon back there in the mountains, it's really pretty. Ah, uh, Mari gets to turn the sound on for lunch. Perfect. Solid's here. What's up, Solid? He says, just got CSGO 21 hour ban because I'm playing too much comp. What does that mean? What's too much comp? J.E. says, I put Earthbound Beginnings, a.k.a. Earthbound Zero, on my NES Classic Edition. Nice. That is awesome. I have yet to really play that game. Oh! Look at that, those little... They just fall right over. And there's a bunny camping inside. Cute. Reminds me of the Woodman stage. A little bit. From Mega Man 2. But a nighttime variation of it. Oh, hello there, guard guy. Nice. Well, this is very different. I've never seen a Mega Man level like this. What you doing? Oh, he's shooting out those carrot missiles. Like the bunnies in Mega Man 2. Oh, now the wood... Oh my goodness! This changes everything. Yeah, that's... Yep, that'll do it. Wow. That was the worst place for that enemy to be, and if you did not take him out, he will make sure you fall down that hole and then instantly die. Wait, wait. Okay, well, now we know. We'll fix it for next time. Oh, miss. It's okay. I like those big, nervous flamethrowing guys. Ah! Oh, Beat helped me again? Maybe I have multiple of him. Let me check him the pause screen. I'm out of Beat now. I had three, and now I'm down to zero. I guess I could go buy him if we end up failing on this level and losing all of our lives. Seems possible. You drop your fire on me, how dare you? Well, oh, this takes precedence. Push him down. Okay. Um, Solid says that I'm playing too much competitive to rank up. I don't understand. 
That doesn't seem to make sense to me. Simon says, I started watching horror stuff at like four years old. Are you are okay watching it, Blue Shep? I don't know what we're talking about, but okay. T Poster says, 5J, what do you think of the Smash Ultimate leak? I didn't look at it and I don't want to look at it. And also, what do you think is the best game of this year? Oh boy, we'll see. I mean, Smash Brothers definitely stands a huge chance, so not going to really be able to say until I can play that game. It's not long now, though. Oh, interesting. Speed gear. Okay, not so bad. Just got to keep it up. Whoa, little dude. Little tiny spidery guys. Oh, and no light. How am I supposed to know where I'm going? There we are. Take him out, take him out. Oh boy. Rush, stay there, buddy. Woo! Gotcha. Location, location, can location. Got behind that guy for a little... Uh-oh. Dude looks like a Pokemon almost. Aw, he's a little flame chicken. It's not really a chicken, but you know, he looks like one. Oh, he caught on fire and now he's a crazy man. Whoa. Whoa, he's really a crazy man, actually. I was kind of just kidding, but clearly that's not a joke now. T-Storm. Got him. I figured one hit might take that big fiery bird out. Okay, a little health back. Parker says, Mega Man reminds me too much of Kirby. Well, it shouldn't, because Kirby isn't really even a platformer. If your character can fly, then it's not really a platforming game. It's action, and it's laid back action. Mega Man is tough platforming and action on top of it. Um, Superhero. Somebody... Oh, it's a new game released a few months ago. Sorry. Oh, no, no, you were talking to my friend, Superhero. What's up, Superhero? He says, this is beautiful. Is it a remake? No, yeah, no, this is finally... Um, Capcom got around to making a new Mega Man game. It has taken them many years... So, um, yeah, this is a new Mega Man game, came out recently, and, uh, they did a great- Whoa! All of a sudden, Firewall was just right there. Ugh! A little bit risky, but it was worth it. Okay. All this looks good, take him out. My gear system recharges pretty quickly now. Thankfully. Woo! And uh, they did a great job with this. It really feels like classic Mega Man meets um, some brand new... Oh boy. Oh, I should have done um, Rush Jet, maybe. Wint, wint. They did a really gr great job making this feel classic, but also new. So, really excited, and I hope it means that Capcom's going to be making a lot more Mega Man games in the future. Uh, Blue Shep is asking what my first horror movie was. I have no idea. Boy, I, it was probably when I was like 10 years old or something, you know? A very long time ago. So I don't know, but I remember the first movie that scared me, because I wasn't really scared of scary movies early on. Oh boy. Um, for some reason, the movie The Frighteners really scared me. Um, there was a scene where the Grim Reaper was coming and crushing people's souls, and that legitimately scared me. And then I was scared of scary movies for a while, and then all of a sudden I was over it again, and then they didn't scare me anymore. So, very strange. Just happened to work out that way. But that's the first one I remember actually being scared from. Okay. There's a lot of rush energy there that we just used up, but very essential, I think. 
Oh no! Boy, worst time to jump down and I shouldn't have shot that owl. I got one more chance to get through this level. And if not, that's fine. I'm probably going to quit and get some more of those um, beat power-ups. So that I'll be able to be rescued from falling in holes like that. There is a lot of chats in here. Chelsea's here. What's up, Chelsea? J.E. says, as soon as Fox and Disney merger is complete, we might finally get a great Fantastic Four movie. That would be nice. Um, Luke says, I just watched a Mario and Sonic video. It reminded me of school arguments. Well, yeah, back in the day, Sonic vs. Mario was a huge school argument. Absolutely. It was Sega vs. Nintendo, and at the heart of that was Mario vs. Sonic. And, I mean, let's be honest here. Mario is way better than Sonic. <laughs> but I still really like the Sonic games. I'm not saying they're not good games. Just saying that Mario games are way better by a mile. <laughs> Just so much better. Oh. I don't know a better way to get over here, so I'm just going to use that rush business. And... Just going to shock him out of being able to block that. Oh, what? That's the jump that I fall and die on? Lame. That's okay. We'll go buy some power-ups. Nicholas Rodriguez is here. What's up, Nicholas? And he says, soup! <laughs> nice. Soup, man. What kind of soup? Personally, I could go for any cream-based soup or something with dumplings in it. Good stuff. t Poster says, Katamari Damacy is releasing next week. Okay. I, I don't think I ever played any of those games. They were wacky and they seem interesting, but I don't know that I'm really going to go for one, honestly. I have a lot, a lot of bolts. When did that happen? Holy cow. Provides a special bonus when you complete a stage in a short time. Sure. Increases the maximum number of energy tanks and weapon tanks you can hold. Sure. I got so much money, I really don't care what I'm buying at this point. Reduces your energy gauge, but makes the ace in the hole double gear technique available immediately. I don't really need that. Hey, negates recoil, that's nice. This makes me not slip on ice. Sorry, less likely to slip on ice. Auto charging, I don't think I need that. Making my shots bigger, that sounds good. It's the 700 bolts. Lessens the amount of, you get pushed back when you take damage. That's also very nice. That is a lot of upgrades. Okay, we want to beat, right? And maybe Eddie. What's this? Super guard halves all damage taken during the stage. That's that feels too much like cheating. I mean, some of these things are definitely uh, you know feeling a little bit like cheating, but that that's too much. Cannot. Boy, there's so many chats. Uh, Parker Johnson says, Nowadays it's Fortnite versus not Fortnite in school. <laughs> Funny. Mari has never had dumplings? Really? Boy, you really should. And uh, if you've ever had uh, gnocchi, the Italian pasta dish, gnocchi is actually a potato dumpling. Really. So that would be considered. Oh, it does make your standard shots a little bit bigger. Look at that. Making you more likely to hit enemies is what it said. Yeah. That's fine. I did take less of a knockback there. Sweet. Get out of here, mole in a motorized sand bucket best I can tell is what that's what that is he's a mole so he does dig right guess it kind of makes sense 
Ah, I should have speed geared a little earlier. Whoa. Thought there might be a guy there. Twasn't. Oops, I missed turn it off. There we go. Whew. Oh boy. Slipped past you, fools. Oh boy. Ah, rats, but beat got me. Now, did I get one beat when I bought beat earlier? Did it give me three? Okay, it was one. I definitely should have bought three. That's right, I gotta leave this guy kind of where he is. Definitely should have got three. Wait, wait. David Rodriguez is back. What's up, David? Bar uh, also, Barsman Reviews is here. Welcome, Barsman says. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're out of here, pal. Please tell me somebody already got rid of that person. It was on YouTube. I don't see it anymore, so hopefully one of my uh, mods already got that dude. Don't know. We don't need no trolls around here. Show up, little guy. Gotcha. Oh, they get such a sad little face, that little lantern enemy. He gets a sad face when you put out his fire like, what are you doing? All I wanted in this world is to light things on fire and you've destroyed my dream. Back off, man. I mean, it's a sand bucket, isn't it? It looks like a big old sand bucket with tank treads. We have gotten through this part before. I don't know why I'm already, I'm just dying so much in this part right now. We've been through here. We can do it. I'm just gonna have to let that happen. There we go. Speed gear. Sometimes it's not good to shoot that owl, I guess. Woo! Barely got by that that owl. See, look at how sad he gets. Oh, poor guy. Oh, you can just stand on the top of their heads. That's interesting. Oh, seriously? Unbelievable. Uh, Splatter Cakes here. What's up, Splatter Cake says, but what if eating pineapple was illegal? I'm sure somewhere pineapple probably is illegal. I don't know. You, you know what I mean? Like, there's so many crazy rules out there. You never know. There's probably some place somewhere where pineapple eating is not legal. Now that I know that I can just extinguish that guy and just be on his head and actually use that to get places... I shall be much more careful about when, what happens when I see those guys. Clearly, they're, they're there to actually help me, and that's why their face is so sad. They're like, whoa, you're not going to kill me, are you? I'm here to help you, Mega Man. Okay, nobody saw the troll, huh? I guess maybe uh, Auto Mod got him. Yeah. I guess the auto mod got him. Great. Hey, auto mod works too. Blue Chef likes this beat. There's always great music in Mega Man. That's 
one of the key things about Mega Man. If it doesn't have really tight platforming and if it doesn't have extremely good music, might as well not be a Mega Man game. Might as well be a totally different game. Oh no, I ruined my double gear. Ah! Whew. Still recharging. Okay, now it's ready to go. This time, ah, uh, seriously. The one from behind got me. Uh. Go, go, go. Okay. Now, do this very differently. Oops. And there we go. See, that's not so hard. Oh, yeah, this guy. All we gotta do is... Eh, we'll do the big one. Perfect. Cold turkey completed. Nice. I like that achievement. I guess it was a turkey, by the way. Wasn't really quite sure what I was looking at there. Splatter Cake is asking what game you should try to get for 2019. Anything that you think looks good. It's very subjective. David Rodriguez wants to know what my favorite pizza is. I got it here for you. I have found a combination of toppings that I prefer the most. I like a, uh, a nice thick crusted pizza. I also like thin crusted like uh, wood fire grilled pizzas. But if we're talking like American style pizza, then I'm talking about having, oh boy. Of course, cheese, gotta have cheese. Um, sausage, like the ground sausage. Um, Ooh. And I like black olives and mushrooms. And the game changer for me was um, fresh tomatoes. Having fresh tomatoes on there is incredible. Oh, that's right. If I hit one of those guys, I can like ride them as they're like falling down to their doom. That's how you're supposed to do that section. Got it. Again, I chose the absolute worst time to attempt that. Wow. Poor playing, 5J. You're doing really poorly. Come on, man. You can do better than this. Man, thanks for being active, guys. I just will not be able to read all these chats. JE says the PlayStation Classic doesn't come with an AC adapter and HDMI, 5J. Doesn't come with an AC adapter. What are its power requirements? Well, that was sad. I'm going to jump in there a couple more times because I'm not going to do this with only one spare life. That's nonsense. Not having an AC adapter is very silly. Luke says, Wario found a Mario. What shall he do? He'll use a shoulder bash. It's a one-hit KO. Mario fainted. Is this your own little Wario RPG that you've concocted here? Simon says, the PlayStation Classic seems like a flop. I think they've made some silly decisions that have really harmed um, the success of that system. Also, I'm going to get some more of those beats. Gimme. I don't like that the default is no, and you have to make sure that you go left to say sure. It's just a little bit of an annoyance. Okay. I've got all these punks. I'm not going to buy any extra lives. The only extra lives I shall use are the ones that I find. Simon says, I would buy it, uh, only buy it for Persona and the other RPGs. Yeah, the RPG selection is actually pretty good on the system, so that's cool. But it would be cool to have some rarer games on there and some ones that, you know, people have actually heard or cared about. Like Cool Borders 2, like really? I don't think so. I don't think that's a great selection. There's another several games like that. Like, really? You know, there's racing games they could have chosen. And I would love to see Clonoa on there. Because that's a really expensive platformer that um, you really cannot get for a reasonable price on PlayStation 1. And uh, wasn't very common. But is excellent. And doesn't require um, the analog stick. So it's... You know, doubly a great fit there. Um, really great game, too. Um, 
not having the analog sticks, of course, was a terrible decision in the first place. But they were probably trying to save money on the controllers. But trying to save money usually doesn't result in the fans being happy. So that is the choice that they made. Speed up! Just getting by these guys. You out, you out, you out. Go away, owl. Gotcha. Is that bush wiggling? Is a big creature going to come out? Oh, that's right. That's where the turkey comes from. And we're going to just destroy this turkey right away. Boom! Really? You can take more than, than one of the big hits. Huh. Now I know. We are full now. Full health. Based on the encounter with that turkey, I think we've made the right selection for boss. I just actually have to complete the level. Jay says, go to Papa Murphy's and order your pizza like that, 5J. Like the one I the one I said? What did I say already? I said sausage, uh, black olives, mushrooms, uh, the fresh tomatoes. Excellent. Roasted red peppers are nice. Bacon, you can never go wrong with. I like um, pepperoni as well, but usually adding the pepperoni on top of all that, I don't know, it just throws off the balance there. Not sure. Um, T Poser says, What do you think the best console of this generation is? PS4, Xbox One, or Switch? Best is so subjective. Personally, I have to say Switch because I've always been a portable gamer. I always like playing a game whenever, wherever I want. So when the Switch happened and I could play it on my TV at a higher quality or I could play it on the go whenever I want, it's everything I ever wanted in a game system. Now, I love Xbox and I love PS4. Nothing wrong with those systems, but portable is massive for me. It is a huge, huge deal for me. All right, so when this dude pops out, hit him once, and he gets all sad. You ride him down. Splattercake says, wait, is this a speed run? No. I thought you killed that guy and did this part already. No. Neither of those things. Melee Man wants to see Super Turk in Director's Cut? Nice. I don't know that I will be streaming that again, but I do love that game. So good. Simon says, Racer Games and Tony Hawk Games, I understand, because of licensing. That's really too bad. Awful. Doesn't Sony own Wipeout, though? Wipeout is such a perfect um, pick. Why not have Wipeout on there? Brian Zaniga is here. What's up, Brian? He says, sup, 5J. How's your weekend? It's been going really good, Brian. Thanks for asking. How's yours going? Take that annoying dude out. I need to not get this owl, but I really want to. Because he's annoying. Okay. We haven't been this far in a while, so this is the one. This is where we win. Plus... I've got beat. Three. Oh, no. Three instances of beat to help me. Oh, boy. At least your shot kind of illuminates things a bit. Otherwise, there we go. Whew. Can respawn the owl. What the? Am I supposed to get up there anyway? Rush, besides Rush. Usually a way there's to, a way to do it without having to use Rush. I'm guessing the fire is going to appear again on this part. Yep. Oh boy. Want your speed gear run out. There you go. You're being a dunger bunger. Yes, I made up a word, and it's a weird one. But I'm getting a little nervous playing it poorly. Here we go. 
Charge. Take him out. Boy, we don't have a lot of health here. Probably just take a fail on this first one and just learn his pattern a little bit. Uh, David says, Parappa the Rapper game. Oh, yeah, that's another classic. You know, why wasn't that in there? Splatter Kicks says, what is the 5J haircut called? It's just hair, man. I don't know. Man, the man is asking if I still have my convertible car. I do. It's in my uh, garage. It is winter here. So uh, I have enough space in my garage where I can park it and my, my uh, All Seasons car and, and Lauren's car in there as well. So that's nice. Simon says, Parappa should have been there. I hear you. Splatter Cake, I have not yet tried to sell a glow. Sorry, dude, but it's there, staring at me. T Poster says, The Switch has sold 22 million while Xbox One 39 million. Ooh, Switch is catching up, dude. Do you think Switch can outsell it by next year's end? We'll see. It's possible. Luke's taking off. See you, Luke. David says, Need for Speed would have been cool, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. J.E. says, 5J, they released Clonoa on the Wii, right? They did. They did. It would be cool to have Clonoa, the Wii game, come over, too, which I think was like a total remake of the original game. I don't have that one, either, and I want it. And I want Clonoa 2 on PlayStation 2. Um, and I want the PlayStation original, which they have on PS Vita and PSP as a PS1 classic. Maybe on PS3 as well. But PS4 doesn't have PS1 classics, which is very strange to me. Um, so, I want those games. I have Clonoa <clears throat> 2 on Game Boy Advance as well. And Clonoa on Wonderswan, which is a Jap Japan exclusive. But you can play that game without knowing Japanese. So, I got it. I'm playing it on a Wonderswan. It's great. Uh, 5J fan slash Blue Shep says, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time should come to Nintendo Switch. I would love it. Absolutely. Nightbot is screaming at somebody for spamming symbols. Who's spamming symbols around here? Wow. Nightbot is taking out Restream Bot on Twitch. <laughs> Stop doing that. It's from somebody spamming symbols. Melee Man, probably? T-Poster says, no Skyward Sword. I wouldn't be surprised if that was a lie and it's still coming, honestly. Simon says, need for speed games or any racer, need licensing for all cars. Uh, Wipeout does not because it is a futuristic made-up game. And if the locations are real life, they also need licensing. Again, Wipeout has nothing to do with real life. Total fantasy. Parker says, Switch is, the, is only good for YouTube and Diablo 3. That's why I have a Switch, lol. Wow, you have not played some of Switch's best games. Besides, YouTube just came out, my goodness. You haven't played Breath of the Wild? Mo Super Mario Odyssey? You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Somebody take out that chat from David. I got it. Tipos says, Parker, you're wrong. The experience on Switch is different and unique. It is totally different and unique. Okay, let's see. Emotes, yeah, sorry. It said emotes, not symbols. Okay. Although emotes are actually symbols that the computer interprets with, I think, with some JavaScript and turns it into an emote. So it's kind of the same thing, honestly. All right, we're facing this guy. I don't... I do have full energy for that. Good. I'm just going to fight this guy normal to figure out his pattern because I have half of my health, and then I'll go at him with his, hopefully, weakness weapon there, my Tundra Blast, or whatever it's called. Whoa! Excuse you, big guy. Wow! Look at him go. How dare you? Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's okay, though. We're going to Tundra Blast him into oblivion now. Man, the man, yes. <laughs> Parker says, Breath of the Wild is pretty good. It's very good. Very, very good. J.E. says, Croc, the Legend of Gabos. 
Might have been a good title to have the PS1 classics as well. Oh yeah, Croc. I remember Croc. I mean, there's no Spyro and there's no um, Crash. Even though they just have those remasters out, it makes sense to have the original version because that's the whole point of the system, right? Oops, crud. I messed that up. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna mulligan this one as well. Get out of here. Ah. How dare you get so close to me? Ah. This guy's cheap. It's okay, we got our cheap moves too. Okay, I hit the weapon change button instead of the weapon overpower button. So I was shooting bouncy balls at him. That's not how I wanted to fight him. J.E. says Spider-Man on PS1. Yeah, that one's probably a licensing issue too. But you know, Nintendo has gotten around licensing issues and got some amazing third-party games on their classic console. So I feel like Sony can do it too. Uh-oh. What happened? Why? Why is this not going like it should? I don't understand. I just need to hit him like once though. Okay. It like went out of the overdrive mode. Must have run out of my double gear system energy. What do we got? Is I'm assuming it's either a, the punch, the flame punch, or some sort of kick. The punch makes more sense, right? Throw out that fiery fist. Nice. I'm not sure I like that helmet quite as much, but that's okay. Blazing torch. Oh, it mimics the kick, actually. That's cool. Spit a searing ball of flame into the air. And then if I go into this mode... Oh, yeah! It makes a noise, too. Hiya! Nice. And then it just goes, hi! In the original uh, strength version. Interesting that it attacks at a diagonal. That's kind of strange. Okay, cool. Really no substantive chats right now. <laughs> Nightbot keeps uh, blocking restream chat though. Stop doing symbols. To turn Nightbot on on YouTube apparently. This restream is the one that's suffering. Timed out for 600 seconds. Gee, thanks guys. Got a 10 minute timeout on my restream bot. All right, where's my night bot? Where's the settings for Twitch? <sighs> okay, Twitch. Spam protection, that sounds right. Okay. Let's see if we can do the same thing with YouTube here. Is this my YouTube one? I think it is. I see. I have it disabled on YouTube. wonder there we go 
Now it should be enabled in both places, and you guys should not be able to time out my restream bot. <laughs> Unbelievable. One sec here. Okay, sorry about that. Back to the chats here. Okay, now Nightbot has got this under control. It should monitor all of the symbol and emote usage. Okay. Simon was offering to help though. Thanks, man. Jay thinks someone will find uh, some someone will find a way to hack the PS1 Classic, which we shouldn't encourage, but when the actual company puts so little effort into something. Um, it sounds like it's using a common emulator, like Sony admitted that, so I don't really think there's any need to hack it per se. If you can plug it into a computer in any method, I'm sure it's going to be pretty simple to just upload new ROMs and that's all you need. Pretty much. I mean, I guess images, maybe. Dunno. Simon says, J.E., if a product is half-baked, do whatever you want to it, lol. The PS1 Classic, I encourage hacking and modding it. <laughs> well, like I said, it is using a common emulator. It is not something that Sony built themselves. So, I think that means it's probably something that's open source already. So, if you're modifying something that's already open source, then that's not breaking any laws. However, of course, there's the whole emulation thing. But you're using an official product. See, this is where all the emulation laws are so weird. So, so weird. Anyways. Okay, so we just beat Torchman. Fire. I'm thinking fire might cause Blastman to detonate. So maybe he's strong against Black Blastman. But maybe it could do something to the acid, I'm not sure. But my money's on Blast Man, so I'm going for it. T Poser says, so at the Game Awards next week, what game do you think Nintendo will announce this time? E.g. Bayonetta 3 in 2017. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. It could be something totally new. You never can tell, so... All the stuff I'm excited about, you know, that I can think of right now off the top of my head, is already here, so... I'm not sure what I'm looking for, you know? I feel unhappy at the moment. Does it look like the ground there is breakable? Maybe if I have Blast Man or Impact Man, I can do something to break that ground? It looks like that way to me, personally. Get in there, get in there. Ah. Fine. Oh yeah, if I do this just right. Speed gear. Speed gear. Get that extra life. Do, 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 do. Oops, I accidentally selected a different power up. Sniper Joe, man. Go away. This guy should. Oh, I can blow this up too. Oh, good to know. Ho! Oh, get around that guy. Ah! Run away! Monty Python with the rabbit. Run away! Whoa. That uh, van, by the way, I think I said it in a previous stream, but that van is actually from Mega Man Legends, so really cool. Um, ah! What 
not cameo, what am I thinking of? Reference. Really cool reference. Shoof. This guy is tricky. There we go. Speed up. Not really quite sure how I'm supposed to get up to that one. Oops, I meant to try a little harder there, but it's okay, I guess. quite work the way I thought it was going to. Rats. I hate this mini boss. Come on, seriously? Wow. Ah. Yep, that's it. Man. That's tough. Uh, Simon says, T-Pose. It's wishful thinking, but I want a Donkey Kong 64 <laughs> remake. <laughs> a remake of that game. Yeah, that is wishful thinking. That is wishful thinking. Blue Shep is asking who has a Dreamcast. I have a Dreamcast. I didn't growing up. I had a f uh, friend, though, that did. So I played lots of uh, Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 on there. Raising lots of chow. Good times. Okay, that thing does not break that. I swear that thing looks like it could be broken. Ah, meant to slide there. Wow, so many chats. Uh, JE says it might be something Pokemon related to the Game Awards. Maybe they'll announce that in a new uh, Nintendo Direct. Simon is making a Judge Dredd reference. I am the law. t -Post says anything IPs you want Nintendo to use for Switch that are not being used for ages. Sure, F-Zero, Punch-Out, um, Star Fox, you know, well. <laughs> um, there's probably more that I'm just not thinking of at the moment. Parker says Nintendo Switch needs Pokemon Gen 9. Indeed. But that's coming. They've already announced that Gen 9's coming next year, so... No worries. However, Pokemon Let's Go is incredible. A lot of people are realizing that game is way better than they thought it was going to be. And way more of a traditional experience than they thought it was going to be. And uh, it is selling very well, it seems. Which is great. I really hope it's a system seller. Hope they sell a bajillion of them. Uh, Smash is also going to be a big system seller. So, what started off as not an amazing year for Nintendo Switch, I hope ends up being a really, really strong end of the year. And then I hope that they have some really good stuff coming for us in 2019 to keep that momentum going. Here they come. Exploding barrels of doom. Oh, I see how I'm supposed to get that. Or this guy. Or that guy, or somebody. Oh, Daisy's all sad. There we go, I can use this flame thing. I forget this isn't a fire level, it's an exploding level. Don't change weapons. None of what I'm doing is what I wanted. Okay. Speed up. This is so tricky. Nope. That was poorly, poorly, poorly timed. Hey, Kavito, is here? What's up, Kavito? How's it going, dude? Um. 
Everyone seems to be confused about what Let's Go is. Simon's got it. It's a Gen 1 remake. It's a remake of Yellow, which was like an enhanced version of Red and Blue. So Red and Blue had a remake called Fire Red and Leaf Green, because in Japan, they didn't have Red and Blue. They had Green and Red. So Fire Red and Leaf Green were remakes of Gen 1. And uh, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee is a remake of Yellow specifically. So it was like the better version of Red and Blue. It is a remake of Yellow. And it's excellent. I absolutely love it. Boy, let's see. I guess I will try it one more time. See how far we can get. I can't stream too much longer. I uh, gotta go. We're gonna pick up a, a used fridge. We're gonna put it in the garage. It's cheap. Off the Facebook marketplace. And uh, it's just gonna help uh, my wife out a lot because she does a lot of cooking and so she's always got that fridge full. And it's like, Boy, wouldn't it be nice if we had a little more space. So, we're going to put another fridge in the garage. No! Goodbye, flying exploding barrel man. Ah. That's all I want. That's all I want is some bolts. Uh-oh realized that too late oh man I keep just jumping at the worst times come on get him oh, and I respawn that sniper Joe on the left too there we go that's better speed gear Bose says, well, the games we have coming out next year from Nintendo are Fire Emblem, Yoshi, possibly Metroid Prime 4. Personally, I don't know. It might be 2020. Third party include old Final Fantasy games and more. Oh, that's right. So many Final Fantasy games are coming. I'm excited about that. I love Final Fantasy games. Ah. What are those little guys anyway? They look like little springs. Are they spark plugs? That's, that would seem to be an electric thing more. Oh, wow. Beat! Thanks for the rescue, Beat. Okay, so, fire dude. It's the easy way to get through any anyway. This mini-boss, man. I hate him. Ah! He jumped right at the worst time. Come on, seriously! Uh, the fact that they jump really throws me through a loop. Okay, now they're going to do the bumper cars thing. Don't you do it. Uh, dropped him right on top of me. Ah, oh, rats. Don't do it. They're going to do it again, aren't they? I'm not timing these guys very well. Yep, here it comes. Oh, I stink at this part. Just got to be more patient. We can do this. We can do this. Nope, nope, not like that. You can't. Oh. Yes! I finally get one of them. Okay, I'm gonna use um, one of these E tanks. Get my energy back. So we have never, I think, beaten this guy so far. So, it'll be nice to actually have a chance. Ah, seriously, I pressed jump that time. 
This dude is adept at throwing these dudes directly on top of me. Unbelievable. How? How does he do it? He almost did it again. Gotcha. Man, roller coaster mini boss guy. Just terrible. Gotta get good at him. Okay. Well, we've never been to this part of the level, so yay, progress. Motion jumps going. Oh, really? I didn't even think about that. They knew you'd slow that down and then they got you. Like, well, you're going to slow it down, huh? We prepared for that. Devious. It is brilliant design. Whoa, I didn't mean to hit the A button. Oops. Hopefully I just, yes, I just got a checkpoint. Thank goodness. I got one more chance to get through here. Simon is asking why I didn't use the firepower in the mini boss. I guess I could have tried that. Give it a shot. t Poser says, I believe 10 and 13 and 9 Final Fantasy are all coming out on it as well. Indeed. Yeah, a bunch. 12, I think, was one of the ones that was coming. So yeah, lots of Final Fantasy. Seven, nine, ten. I don't think eleven. I don't think that makes a lot of sense. Crap, that one makes a big explosion. Yeah, it was seven, nine, ten, twelve. Didn't have eight though, which was sad because I really love eight. So hopefully at one point eight's coming, but it's not coming right away. Oh boy. Saw that coming. Eh. Oh, I should have speed geared again. Well, that's game over, isn't it? Okay, one more try. One more chance. Luke says, I got Dark Moon recently. Nice, and I need help with the second mansion first level. Do you know what I have to do to get at the plant part? I do not remember that very well, so I'm not exactly sure. There's usually clues around, though, or at least they probably told you a clue at one point. If you start the level over, it might redo the clues for you. <sighs> Boy. I think you have to jump back up to avoid all those explosions. Otherwise, they really have your number there. Okay. Can I do the double thing? Not really. Ah. I hate him in his AT, AT walker, ATST walker. Seriously. He's so powerful. Wow. Down to one little tiny bit of health. Alright, here goes. Yeah, I was in a corner on that one. There was really nothing I could do. Rats. How am I going to get past that part? At the moment, it doesn't matter because I got to get going. Okay, last few uh, chats here. Uh, Simon says, what the Switch needs is a port remake of Chrono Trigger. Yeah, that would be cool. A port would be fine. A Super Nintendo, actually, a Super Nintendo console on Switch would be great. Like, they have the NES one, right? Let's get that Super Nintendo one in there. Let's get Chrono Trigger in there. Sounds great. T-Poser says, oh yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3 on Switch. That's right. Luigi's Mansion 3. I love Luigi's Mansion. I cannot wait to have it on Switch. So yes, looking forward to that. J.E. says, I believe Dragon Quest XI is coming out on the Switch. Oh, yes, that's right. That'll be great, too. Kavito says, anyone know if, what SD card I can use on the Switch? Um, a micro. 
So any micro will do, the bigger the better, obviously. So if you can get a good deal on a high capacity one, go for that. T-Post says, John, they are uncertain about releasing it, but Dragon Quest Builders 2 is coming out in the next year on 1 slash 2. Dragon Quest Builders 2, okay. Uh, Luke says, there's a plant section in the second mansion. I have to do something to get a chest, but a plant robots are blocking it. I don't know how I get rid of them, bud. Sorry, dude. Don't recall. All right, guys, that looks like all the chats for now. Thanks so much for watching. Later today, I will be doing some Majora's Mask. Um, probably not at my usual time. It's not going to be in like an hour. I got to go pick up a fridge and probably have some lunch and stuff. So later this afternoon, so probably several hours from now, I'll get around to doing some Majora's Mask. And uh, I'll see you then. So thanks for coming, guys. See you later. Bye.